Today I'm sharing with you our leprechaun traps. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, I am a homeschooling mom who's been homeschooling since 2012 and I create all kinds of videos to help you on your homeschooling and motherhood journeys. So make sure to take a minute to subscribe. That really helps me get my videos out to other moms just like you. Today I want to share with you guys three of my kids' leprechaun traps. If I sound a little congested, my allergies are out of control, so please bear with me. I went to the library the other day and I picked up this book. It's called How to Build a Leprechaun Trap. And I'm gonna take you on a peek inside. So here in this book, you have a bunch of different traps. And they each have a name and it tells you a little description about it. It gives you a difficulty level as well as a leprechaun appeal meter. It gives you the list of materials, your stem connection, and then it gives very easy instructions for your child to follow step by step. It also gives you some did you know facts. So today we are going to take a look into the Somewhere Over the Rainbow Irish leprechaun trap that my five-year-old made. We're also going to look at this Rainbow Springs trap that my son made who's nine. And finally we're going to look at this lickety split leprechaun hat trap that we made with my our first grader. And my eight, my eighth grader is also making a trap but she ran out of supplies and so she is, uh, we ordered them from Amazon so she could finish her trap. And that trap will be in my Instagram page. You will definitely want to check that one out because she's doing an amazing job with it as well as all the other kids did too. She's making this one here. It is Shamrock Diner. So she's making a little Shamrock Diner. I'm gonna leave the link to this book in the description because this is a must buy for those of you guys who celebrate St. Patrick's Day every year and your kids make leprechaun traps every year. I'm definitely gonna pick this up myself. So every time we're celebrating these mini holidays, St. Patrick's Day, President's Day, Columbus Day, Martin Luther King Day, I always start our class with a video. And I go on YouTube and I type in, what is St. Patrick's Day for kids? And then I get a video and so the kids can understand what it is we're celebrating in this holiday. So that's what I did and that's what the kids are doing here. They're watching a video on St. Patrick's Day because the first grader that comes over here um, every day when I help homeschool her doesn't know what St. Patrick's Day is or leprechauns or anything like that. So I was able to share that with her through this video. Because I have four different kids building traps, I had to photocopy at least three of those traps so that they could each have their traps to follow. If you found this video helpful in making some leprechaun traps, 
please make sure to share it with others who you think it might find it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.